Homeless camp crackdown. The San Diego City Council will soon vote on a ban on all homeless camps, but critics say it criminalizes homelessness. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcelo Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Tents are lined up on sidewalks and in city parks. School kids have to walk around them in some parts of town. CBS 8's Anna Laurel shows us just a piece of this complicated issue from a midway encampment where a woman says she has been arrested more than a dozen times. Under the city's proposed ordinance that outlaws encampments, people who live at camps like the one behind me have to choose between accepting shelter or getting ticketed, even arrested. But critics say arresting homeless people doesn't solve the homeless crisis. I've been a victim of crime. I've been hit here. I've been ran over. I've been through a lot of stuff. Della Infante is hard to understand, but she wants you to know her speech is because of a heart condition, anxiety, and prescription medication. The 59-year-old has lived on the streets since she lost her job four years ago. I didn't think I would be out here that long. I thought maybe I'd just be here maybe a few months. Della has been arrested 13 times in the last year for encroachment, illegal lodging, resisting arrest, and drug possession. I haven't done drugs in over 30 years. So I'm not doing nothing wrong. Police are, and city are coming at this with a hammer. They're not using the right approach. Colleen Cusack is Della's attorney. She says the city's current enforcement is cruel and inhumane. She says homeless people can't make it to court and they cannot pay a fine. She's still homeless. She still doesn't have um, a non public option so she's still going to be somewhere in the city and she can be arrested again and again and again. Kusak and Della believe a proposed city ordinance to outlaw encampments will criminalize homelessness and lead to more arrests. The best way for somebody to avoid being arrested is to accept shelter, to accept the services that the taxpayers of San Diego are spending tens if not hundreds of million dollars to provide. City Council Member Stephen Whitburn proposed the ban. It is really important that a city like San Diego uh, have rules that protect public health and protect public safety. Whitburn represents downtown Balboa Park and surrounding neighborhoods. If there are people who, despite having opportunities to go into shelter or safe sleeping or housing, decide that they want to stay on the sidewalk despite the offer of services, then it is perfectly reasonable uh, for us to say you can't do that. This is just a part of this very complicated issue with a lot of human layers to figure out. In the Midway District, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8.